Que rollo, que rollo Back with another freaking video um, A la verga hay un fed Hay una chota atrás de mi Ojo su madre Ok, ya, yeah, let me Corte Ay Copy and follow me Anyways, um, today We're about to do a little life hack I honestly haven't seen it on YouTube But it's a little life hack for You guys know how the What you call The newer trucks They have the Yeah, it's like it's like I guess you could say it's bed liner under the fender wheels, and we'll on the newer trucks, on the older trucks, the fender liner is just you know it's not texturized or nothing, and it's just flat plastic. And as you guys can see, I'll put up a picture. It sometimes throws off the truck, and it when like say say I just finished washing the truck. And I take a picture, the fender wells always stay dirty. Never, ever, ever did they just stay like pure black or anything. And yes, I guess you can spend the time to clean it and scrub it and all that, but why do that when I have this life hack? It's basically just like a DIY freaking taquache hack that you can do. They sell this, I'll show you guys here in a bit, but they sell rubberized, uh, it's called undercoating. Pues, um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know it what it is but it's usually just for like when you spray your frame or like on jeeps those off-roading jeeps they spray it under the frame you know just to prevent rust and crap but yeah you can actually spray paint that and your fender wheel and it actually looks really good i i did it to the front ones just to see how it would look and it honestly looks really freaking good and damn those wheels are nice but yeah it comes out looking really good and what y'all about to see, that's what's probably gonna happen in today's video. And yeah, I don't know what else will maybe happen. If one of some of the boys don't work today or they wanna come through, I'll probably have them come through. But right now, we're pulling up to Joaquin's because I gotta pick up his impact. Yo nomás tengo la cruceta. And why use that when I can borrow Joaquin's impact? Let's see what this top watch is doing. Oh, another fit right in front of me. Que rollo, wey. But, oh my God. No way he's not here. He told me to. Okay. But yeah, um, as you guys, I don't know if you guys saw, but in that previous vlog, if it's up already, um, when Joaquin was putting on the intros on his Ford, he had bl black spike lugs. And at first we thought that would look good, but nah, it doesn't. <laughs> Hopefully you heard that, but it doesn't. And now he slapped on the chrome spike lugs and look how it looks. Watch. Tell me it don't look better with chrome spikes. Ugly ass taquash. <laughs> look at this, look at this guys. Ooh, 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 so why haven't you cleaned your tips? Why haven't you cleaned the tips with the gas? Look at that. Uh, uh. Anyways, thank you, Joaquin. He's on lunch break right now, so I'm gonna leave him alone. Say, say, actually, I'll probably see you later. As y'all can see, there's it looks really trashy right now because I was just one coat and I didn't even, I was just you know experimenting, but it actually looks really good in person. It's brown right now, like I said, it was a light coat that I did. And we, and on this side, I didn't do the whole fender. I just did like the actual plastic. But, and as you guys can see, it's not really too texturized. But like I said though, that was just one coat and I was just like trying it out. But on this side, it's a little better. <sighs> Doesn't look too bad. And then, like I said before, you know, the texture's black. It don't look all nasty and grimy. Like for example, this one, I don't know. I just, that always, that's something that always, always gets on my nerves. Just seeing it all dirty under here. And like I said, yes, you can spend the time and clean it, but why do that when you get this little life hack? But anyways, I'm gonna change real quick cause I just got out of the gym before I was at school. And, oh yeah, I'm gonna change some appropriate clothes. I'll be right back. All right, chavos. A couple hours later, I have 
Get a little rest in. Change real quick. I didn't shower because I'll shower after this. Ooh, yeah, spray paint's nice and warm. Get a little rest in. Get a little rest in. Get a little rest um so yeah let's get the truck jacked up let's get all set up and pick up the blog All right, guys, so as you can see, got the wheel off. Yeah, don't mind this. I'm gonna be changing all this suspension soon. But anyways, as you guys can see, have it taped off. You really don't have to tape it off too much, just as long as there's this little flap so overspray don't go over it, because that, those cans, they really shoot really good. But yep, this is the before. And I'll do a little time lapse and show you all that after. For the year so far, we'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow, and of course, the possibility of some scattered showers today. Of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar, however, the satellite photo was just slapped on the first coat. Yes, it looks brown, but that's just how it comes out of the can. And then it, when it dries up, it usually gets black. But if it doesn't, I mean, it will, but just to make it look extra black, I got a little bit of flat black just so I can let a little lay a little what to call coat over it so it stays black. Yeah, that's how it is. While this dries, I'm probably gonna start hitting the back. As you guys can see, I don't know, I don't think camera does really good justice, but it does look really good. Right now, I just laid another coat, so it's really brown. But texture-wise, I think it looks really good. The back, I'm not too worried about. I just laid a little coat over it. The size is what shows the most when you, obviously you just have wheels and it's on the ground. So I focused a lot more on the edges and this is why it's good to take your shit off, guys. <laughs> I overspit so much. But yeah, that's how it is. I'm gonna let this dry. I just did the back, let this dry and then hit the back one more with this last can. No, actually I got one more, but let this finish the rest of the can off on that. And then hit it with some flat black and then I'll update y'all again. Also, another thing, guys, do not stress if you accidentally get some on your paint or anything. As long as you wipe it off really quick, it won't stain or it won't, nothing will happen. Because the first time I did it, I just did a mess around just to see how it would look. And I did get some overspray. Don't mind all that rust and all those scratches, guys. That's just because when I got the truck with side skirts and yeah. But anyways, yeah, don't trip if you guys get some on your paint. Nothing's gonna happen. Yo, I'll be straight. And as you guys could see, she's all done. It looks all uneven because, well, the sun's shining a lot more on this side. But, like I said, I was more worried about this instead of back there. But yeah, it's actually turned out. Doesn't look too bad. Probably still looks a little bit wet. But once I put the wheels back on, y'all will see the after. I'm gonna show y'all how the back came out. <clears throat> I still haven't taken off the tape, but that's how the back came out. Yep. Catch y'all later. Or actually, let me do the other side real quick. <laughs> Don't y'all just hate it when you're outside working on your whip and all of a sudden you get that grudge feeling and you <laughs> well, thankfully, I mean, no, bro. Man, did I have to make a freaking beeline to the toilet? Finished project, guys. There's the finished project. As y'all can see, it didn't come out too bad. Looks pretty clean. And I don't know if I have, if I've put a before yet, but 
I'm pretty sure the before picture would be some boy like this. So I'll enter right here. And then here's the outcome. As you all could see, there's no, there's no dirtiness or anything there. Yes, you guys can say that. It'll, what's it called? It'll stain all, obviously stain over time. But I'm pretty sure it'll clean off fairly nice. And right here, you can really tell. It'll clean off pretty easy, easier than with, with it just flat plastic, no texture or anything. But yeah, that's it. Um, let me know. I'm thinking I'm gonna call this the start of a taquachi or taquache DIY or life hack, a taquache life hack series. This will probably be the first of many. Let me know what y'all think about that. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's how she came out. Um, I guess I should, I don't know if I should keep this video going or end it there. I'll probably just keep it going if I have anything else to do, but let me tell y'all some plans I have. <clears throat> so obviously most of you probably think that's ugly. Yes, I know it is, but the brake light under there is really old. So I'll be getting a new brake light. Um... I think, I think I want to go back to the stock headlights, the ones without the LED bar. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys think. The same chrome, but just minus the LED. That, um, I for sure want to fix my bumper cap. But that's as best as you can get it without messing with frame or, I mean with frame, with the brackets or putting spacers with the bolts. I could put spacers, I know that a lot of people do that, but I think I'm gonna use, probably end up doing brackets. <coughs> and then fog lights, for sure, new fog lights. Uh, what else, what else, what else? New mirror caps, this one don't look bad, but as you guys could see on this one, yeah, it's chipped, probably new door handles too, because they're chipped. I'm just thinking about working on cosmetics right now. Instead of doing gears, low cam, I think I'm just gonna end up getting wheels, making it look nice again. Cause I'd rather be looking nice than trying to be quick, you can say. I know y'all gonna hose me for a cam being quick, but I mean, some performance mods, I guess you could say. Um, I'm also gonna fix the little bumper lean I have right here. Where's that? Oh, right there. Because if y'all have been watching since the beginning, the truck was hit from this whole side. Like from right here, back here, the bed was missing. So yes, this is a new bed. Uh, well, not a new bed, but a new panel. Um, and well, when they hit me, uh, how the fuck you get under there? Anyways, the shackle, shackle bracket and everything just bam, just it went, it went, it went bad. And which causes my truck to be leaning more on one side than the other. I'm pretty sure once I fix it, it'll go from here to back to just level like that. And hopefully fixes the bumper, the bumper lean or whatever you want to call it. Line up my bumper. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? For sure bed liner but this i'm gonna get it professionally done i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do it myself with rattle can i know joaquin's planning to what do you call it do it himself spray it with all bed liner with the what i did so if his turns out good i just might 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 do it myself but most likely do it professionally because there's lots of little things throughout the bed yeah, it's not. Ooh, ooh, my phone almost fell. It's nothing Bondo can't fix, but I'll probably end up doing it with Bondo. But yeah, as of plans for the truck, that's probably it. 
there's nothing really else I can think of and then other than what you call it sunroof and oh that's all in the future though but that's of course what I want to do um, I'm probably gonna end off the video there I'll probably start a second video a little vlog maybe I don't know but yep yeah. Focus it. That's how she came out, guys. Damn, I'm really tired of those stocks. But anyways, thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if y'all want to see more of these stock watch it life hacks. A little series I should start. Anyways, thank you. Today, however, very very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area. 72 at Garden City. 70 reports.